Iran-Iraq war has been one of the deadliest military conflicts in the West Asian region. Forty years later, we take a look back at this deadly war which killed thousands and divided the region along sectarian lines. In March 1975, Saddam Hussein, then Vice President of Iraq, and the Shah of Iran signed a deal in Algiers to settle a border dispute. The Algiers Accord ruled that their border ran along the center of the Shat al Arab, a 200-kilometer-long river formed by the meeting of the Tigris and the Euphrates. But in April 1980, Baghdad accused Tehran of plotting attacks. This accusation came immediately after the 1979 toppling of the Shah of Iran. On September 17, Baghdad declared that the Algiers Accord was null and void. It now demanded all of the Shat al Arab. The deadly eight-year conflict began with Saddam Hussein in sending soldiers into Iran on the 22nd of September 1980. His air force bombed airports as well as military targets and oil infrastructure. In the first weeks, the Iraqi forces were met with very little resistance. Arab nations, including the rich Gulf countries dominated by Sunni Muslim leaders, gave billions of dollars to Iraq. They saw Saddam Hussein as a leader against the Islamic revolution of Iran's Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, a Shiite Muslim. The Western countries, alarmed by Iranian clerics overthrowing the Shah in Tehran, also sold weapons to Iraq. Soon, Iran started pushing back. In 1982, Iran launched a major counterattack, taking back its port of Khurram Shahar. Baghdad quickly announced a ceasefire and pulled back troops, but Tehran rejected the ceasefire, bombarding the major Iraqi city of Basra. From April 1984, the two sides engaged in a war of the cities, with over 30 cities on both sides battered by missile attacks. One of the main highlights of the Iran-Iraq war was Baghdad's use of chemical weapons targeting Iran. Tehran made the first accusation in 1984 and then again in 1988. These chemical attacks were also confirmed by the United Nations. The war came to an end when Khomeini accepted a UN Security Council resolution. This was on the 18th of July, 1988. While the exact number of those killed in the war is not known, at least 650,000 people are estimated to have been killed during the conflict. A ceasefire was declared on the 20th of August, 1988. The toppling of Hussein's regime by the United States in 2003 ushered in a new era in West Asia. The relations between the two countries have definitely improved since then. Iran and Iraq have increasingly cooperated with each other economically, culturally, as well as socially.